The crisis has literally never been worse. This is the reality as the Senate begins careful consideration of the border security agreement announced last night. The gaping hole in our nation's sovereign borders on President Biden's watch is not going to heal itself. And the cre crater of American credibility after three years of the president's foreign policy will not repair itself either. Today, our adversaries are emboldened as terrorists and authoritarian thugs challenge the strongest military in the world, our Commander-in-Chief is hesitant, hesitant and self-deterred. It's long past time for the President to demonstrate more resolve and start imposing decisive costs on those who dared attack, attack America. And it's now time for Congress to take action on supplemental national security legislation that finally meets those challenges head on. I've spoken at length for months about the urgent need to invest in American hard power, stand with our allies, and start showing our adversaries that the world's foremost superpower intends to start acting like one again. My colleagues know where I stand. They know as well as I do that American adversaries in Moscow, Beijing, and Tehran are working together to undermine us. And they know that the time has finally come for the Senate to respond with strength. The national security legislation we're preparing to take up will invest heavily in the capabilities and capacity of America and our, America and our allies need to regain the upper hand over this emerging axis of authoritarians. Make no mistake, the gauntlet has been thrown and America needs to pick it up.